This paper presents the design considerations and redundancy resolution for variable geometry continuum robots. The multi-backbone continuum robot featured in this paper is able to control its diameter actively. This is achieved by the use of angulated scissor linkages as spacer disks. The first animation shows a continuum robot bending in a given plane by pushing and pulling its secondary backbones. The second animation shows the continuum robot varying its radius by simultaneously actuating the angulated scissor linkages and its secondary backbones. The joints of an ASL are labeled A, R, and B, depending on their proximity to the center of the linkage. One of the key parameters in the design of an ASL is the number of rhombuses N used in the assembly. In particular, this parameter has a noteworthy effect on the motion of the outermost joints, B. The three cases simulated here illustrate the motion of B with respect to the linkage radius R. For a linkage with less than six rhombuses, B moves in the opposite radial direction as R. For a linkage with six rhombuses, the range of motion of B is minimal. For a linkage with more than six rhombuses, B moves in the same radial direction as the linkage radius R. Allowing the diameter of the robot to vary introduces kinematic redundancy, which can be used to reduce the load on the backbones. These simulations show the workspace points that a continuum segment is able to achieve while undergoing a 120 Newton load at its end disk and while staying below a maximum actuator force of 300 Newtons. On the left, the segment is simulated with its minimum diameter, while on the right, it is simulated with its maximum diameter. Note that the maximum diameter is reduced for large bending angles due to the constraints imposed by the interference between the spacer disks. These results show that allowing the diameter to vary increases the achievable workspace of the robot for a given external load. For real-time control, we present a redundancy resolution algorithm that reduces the actuator loads while avoiding joint limits. These joint limits are imposed by the constraints of joint collision within the ASL, as well as spacer disk interference. Shown here is a simulation of two multi-segment continuum robots with and without variable diameters following a circular trajectory. It is noticeable that the continuum robot with active diameter control increases its diameter in order to reduce the load on its backbones. However, when hearing a disk interference configuration, this continuum robot actively reduces its diameter. These results show that the kinematic redundancy introduced by varying the diameter contributes to significantly reducing the actuator loads.